All right, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 9, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the operator shorthand methods. That's coming up. Okay, so just a quick recap on the last lesson we did. I told you that the five most common, uh, common operators are these ones here, the assignment one, which is the equal sign where we just assign a number or a string to a variable, we give it a value. And then these four here, which are just the basic arithmetic ones, and that's the addition, subtraction, uh, division, and multiplication. Now, there are a few shorthand methods to assigning values to variables using these, which I wanna show you in this video. All right then guys, so this is gonna be a pretty quick video. I just wanna show you some of these shorthand methods which are gonna save your time going forward when you're writing JavaScript. So, um, in the previous lesson we've seen we can declare a variable with the keyword var, oops, I mean capitals, var, my var equals 10, yeah? So that assigns the value of 10 to my var. Now, if I wanted to add five to that variable and you know update the variable itself, I'd say my var, equals my var takes the current value plus five, yeah? And then if I call my var again, it should be 15. Yeah, it's updated that variable. So there is a quicker way to doing this. And the way we do that is by using the shorthand notation for adding a number to a variable. All we do is say my var plus equals five, okay? And what that there is doing is saying, okay, take my var and then plus equals means take the original value of my var, what it currently is, and add five to it, all right? So this is exactly the same as saying this. And you can see this bit here, the plus equals, as being the same as this, okay? So it's just a short way of writing equals my var plus. It's taking the current value of my var and adding this number here to it, all right? So now it should be 20. And if we call my var, it should be 20. Exactly the same can be done for um, minus. So minus equals 10. So it's currently 20. It should be 10 now if I call my var. Perfect. Uh, we can do the same with division. So let's try that. My var divide equals 2. So it should be 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Let's just call it to make sure. There we go, yeah. And finally, my var times equals 5. So that should be 5 times 5, which is 25. And yeah, there we go. Let's just call it again to make sure. 25, okay? So that is the same as saying my var equals my var plus five. This is the same as saying my var equals my var minus 10. This is the same as saying my var equals my var divided by two. And this is the same as saying my var equals my var times five, okay? So they're the shorthand ways of adding, subtracting, dividing, or multiplying uh, the variable that you have and then storing the result, all right? Now there's a couple of more things I wanna show you, and that's just the incremental and decremental uh, operators, which are just kind of shorthand ways of adding one or subtracting one to a variable, all right? So we could say something like this, my var plus equals one. And that's just gonna add one to my var, yeah? So it's gonna be 26, because it's currently 25. So let's just see that in action, yeah, 26. Now, instead of writing that, there is a slightly quicker way we can do it. We can say my var plus plus. And that is going to take my var or whichever variable you have and add it, add one to it. Okay, just one. So it should be 27 now. Oh, and the reason that's happened is because of the order of the pluses. Okay, if I call my var now, it should be 27. Yeah, but because I put the pluses after the variable name, what it did was print out my var first and then added one to it. If I was to do plus plus my var, then what it will do is add one before it prints out the result. Okay, so it should be 28 now. There we go. So the order does matter, and we'll get into these later on when we start looking at loops and whatnot. I just wanted to show you them now so they're not going to be alien later on. So that's all there is to it. These are the shorthand methods for um, adding, subtracting, dividing, and multiplying variables. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.